What's up, everybody? Welcome to Air Science. Today's job is going to be to go back to a job that we had way back, oh, when we did landscapes, right after weather, so fairly early in the third marking period. At that point, you had some work where you dealt with these two pages of the reference tables, page two, page three, and you would have questions like this. I'm going to blow it up a little bit. Um, what age rock would you find in the Allegheny Plateau? All right, this is something that we've done. You should you should be comfortable with this right now. And what you would do is scroll down to this map that has more information, knowing that, okay, I can see Allegheny Plateau on this map. I know about where that is. Come down here, and you see the pattern, and you say, okay, there's those dots. And those dots, I know those look similar, but that's different. They're uh, that one right there. And at that point, I said, you can just tell me that word right there for the age which is Devonian. And we said, that's good enough for now. If you say Devonian to a geologist, they know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, yeah, that was that. And we do it for different sections, different cities. You would do all that. You would give me sometimes the names of the rocks, like maybe the rock that you would find around there would be uh, these guys, limestone, shales, sandstones, and conglomerates. Now, at that point, we hadn't even done rocks, so those were like foreign words. These should all be a little bit more familiar now because we've made it through the rock unit. And we're also going to take it a step further today because now these words, we've got a little bit more context for them because we've learned this big, scary reference table. And if you haven't made it through the earlier lessons to get to this, you should definitely go back and do all that first. The timeline lab, um, the big, long piece of cash register tape of Earth's history, you would want to do that before you try this. All right, so now we can go a step further. Maybe we take that same question. And also cities, we did that back then too, right? So maybe I could say, what age is the bedrock in Ithaca and the Allegheny Plateau? And then you would do that. You would say, oh, that's Devonian, and it has those rocks. Well, now we can take this thing and say that the Devonian, we can get a little bit more specific. Rocks from the Devonian are between this old and this old. The Devonian started 418 million years ago and ended 362 million years ago. And what else might be going on then? Like what would you find in the fossil record? This kind of stuff was going on with life during the Devonian, during the time that that bedrock in Ithaca was formed. These animals existed. Trilobites, ammonoids, crinoids, but not yet dinosaurs or mammals. And specifically these types of uh, trilobite or nautiloid or aminoid, C, F, and G. And remember, those are listed at the bottom if you have the reference table on paper or at the top if you're using this one, C, F, and G. So maybe you go to Ithaca and you could find fossils of those animals because those were the animals that were alive at the time that the rock in Ithaca was being deposited. So... What we're doing today is not necessarily like a brand new skill because again, it, it kind of depends on, I can already do this. I can already take these two things we did at the beginning of the third American period and pop back and forth between these and figure them all out. Now all we're doing is chucking in other things from this reference table right here. So to help out with that, I made this miniature version of the reference table that only has pages two, three, and then this double page eight, nine on it. If you want to go and use the regular reference table, or if you have a paper one, paper one's probably going to be really handy. So if you're in class, you want to grab one of those. Um, you can use the regular one, or you can use this where I just deleted out all the other pages that you don't need for this activity. All right, this is what you're going to be doing. This is basically like what I just said in this video, right? You can find landscape regions. If they ask for a landscape region, use the landscape region map. Don't forget these titles. If it says, what landscape region does an animal like fake ops live? Now you got it. You go find fake ops. He's letter C. Letter C is Devonian. Then you come here and you say, oh, Devonian is this dotted pattern. This dotted pattern is like through here, Ithaca and Elmira. That's the Allegheny Plateau. Any step of that, you could figure out all the other ones if you're willing to be patient and just kind of look at the clues, go to where you know it's one of these things, and uh, work it on out. Uh, so yeah, landscape regions, bedrock geology, 
And now the harder part is going to this. I know this reference table is intimidating. There's a lot on there, but use your computer to blow it up. Use this little thingy right here. Um, there's also that finds function. Remember that if you're stuck and uh, geez, this question's asking about uh, ammonoids. Ooh, does it look different in Cami? Yeah, it still works in Cami. Okay. Or if you just have it on your regular PDF viewer on the Chromebook, that worked. That worked when we did it last week. And then they pop up. Rather than having to read every single word through this thing and getting flustered, Control F will help you find things. Okay. Want to do one? I don't know. I'm going to go through these. I'm going to have you try a bunch of them. I don't know if I'll have you do all 29, but I'm going to have you do a bunch of them. But let's do one or two as an example of what we got. The diagram below represents the placoderm fish. Whew. What do you think? Bathria, lo Bathria lepis, maybe? An index fossil found in New York State. The surface bedrock of which location is most likely to contain this fossil. So what are you going to do? You're going to be responsible for exactly this type of question. We got a type of animal, and we're looking for what city they might be found. Fortunately, pronouncing those animals is not going to be important. So are they up here? Yep, there he is. And again, that search function, if you were... Uh, struggling to find it. There it is. And it's letter R. Let me erase all my other noise here. Oh, there it is. It's going to be in the same, same one as my example. Perfect. There's letter R. So we know that we're dealing with Devonian rock. Devonian rock, as we already did. Ithaca, Elmira, maybe Binghamton, Jamestown. Let's see what our choices are. I see Ithaca. Sorry, the first one was exactly the same as the one that I did as an example. All right, let's do a different one then. Fossils of which type of animal would uh, most likely be found in the surface bedrock of the Catskills? So where the heck are the Catskills? Well, here they are right here. So it's that general area. So we come down here, and of course, it's the same pattern again. Devonian is popular here in New York. What kind of animals are you going to find there? Let's see what our choices are. Reptiles, mammals, brachiopods, or birds? The birds are way up here. They're out. Uh, reptiles, mammals are out. Mammals are way up here. Uh, what else we got? We got rid of birds. We got rid of mammals. So we got brachiopods or reptiles. Brachiopods is most likely the right answer. Brachiopods is here. That certainly is found in the Devonian. Let's just make sure we find reptiles and see that it's not on there. Or maybe they're trying to mess with us. All right, we're going to search. All right, so maybe they're not over here written, but it says that your earliest reptiles are right there. So they didn't exist until the Carboniferous, late Carboniferous of the Pennsylvanian. Because remember, t uh, closer to the top is closer to today. So that Devonian, that uh, Brachypods looks like the one. All right, let's do a non-Devonian one. I'll go to number four. Which river in New York State flows for several miles over surface bedrock that is more than 542 million years old? Well, if I get here, I see 544. That's pretty close. So it's got to be older than all of these periods. Cambrian, Ordovician, like Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic, all of those. We're in, getting into older Precambrian rock. So what do we got? We got Mohawk, Genesee, Susquehanna, or Hudson. Mohawk is right here. Genesee is right here. Hudson is right here. And Susquehanna is right down here somewhere. There we go. So I'm seeing all of those being the same. The Hudson's going to be the one that cuts through that kind of gnarly pattern right there. See those like swirly pattern right there? That's middle Proterozoic. That's some really old rock right there. So that was a tougher one. That one required a little bit of uh, searching through. And that's what these are going to be. Is uh, little, little puzzles to solve over and over and over again. So again, I don't think I'll do all of them. I'll go through once I'm done with this video and do a selection. Set it up as a quiz. You guys know the drill by now. You'll do great. All right? Just... Practice the reference table, practice the reference table, practice the reference table. 
not, I won't pick any questions that aren't findable by bouncing back and forth between all three of those. But expect that it's going to take a little bit of time. Nobody, nobody would ever be able to like read this question and just be like, oh yeah, it's this, you know, unless you're a, nobody, nobody that's taking air science um, would be able to just answer that off the top of their head. I wouldn't even be able to answer most of these off the top of my head. And I love this stuff. That's what the reference tables are for. So don't take it as like, geez, I don't know that. Take it as, okay, I'm going to go to the tables and try to figure that out. All right. What do you think? You're going to do great. We'll talk to you guys soon. Great job. Getting close to the end of the year. Keep it up.